Hello and welcome to Carnichua.com. Today we're going for a ride in our latest test vehicle, the 2017 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. Let's go! You can hear, or maybe you can't hear, that we're only running on the electric motor right now. So it's really super quiet. And as with many of Toyota's hybrids, and they offer a lot of them, you can drive on either pure electricity, the electric motor, or the gasoline engine, and it'll come on. You really don't know when, but it'll come on. And you can drive on a combination of both, and that's why they call it a parallel hybrid. There have been several generations of the RAV4, and we remember the first one way back when in the 1990s. It was actually a pretty small vehicle. It was a two-door, and for a short time they even offered a convertible of sorts, which was really neat, where the back uh, over the cargo compartment was like a canvas, and then the sunroof over the driver's compartment would lift off. Toyota offers RAV4 in a bunch of different models, from the plain uh, gas engine model in several different trim levels, and they get pretty fancy. You can add a lot of neat features to the RAV4. Then the hybrids are separate models, and this is the four-wheel drive version. And unlike uh, regular four-wheel drive, a gas-powered uh, vehicle, this has an electric motor powering the rear wheels when needed. So you don't have all the extra weight of a drive shaft going from the front to the back. There's three different drive modes. There's Sport, there's Eco, and there's EV. Sport obviously is designed to give you the best performance, and we've been using that when we've going, been going up the hills uh, where we live. We live at about 1,200 feet above sea level, so we're going up the hills all the time. And when you put it in sport, it definitely goes, uh, and you can feel that the vehicle responds much better. Now, of course, when you do that, you're using up more energy in the process, so your economy won't be as good. If you want to get the best economy, just press the button and put it on Eco. And Eco is designed to give you the best economy. Now, you'll notice that you don't get the best performance, so there is a trade-off there. The EV mode, you really can only use that when you're just starting out from a stop because it operates, it functions at low speed only. And if you're lucky, you might be able to go about half a mile or so on EV, which is just pure electricity. You're not using the gas engine at all. Unlike uh, hybrids when they first started out, when you could really sense that the engine was kicking in, uh, it's so smooth and so almost transparent now, you almost can't tell when the RAV4 hybrid is switching uh, from the electric motor to the gas engine. It's just so nice and smooth. So what do we like best about the RAV4? Well, we like the size. It's just the right size for us. It's not too big and it's not too small. We also like the fact that you can now get it in a hybrid, which is really cool. We like that Toyota offers a bunch of different models of the RAV4 too, so you can pretty much have it your way. The RAV4 has become really sophisticated and Toyota offers a lot of different uh, safety features on it as well. So after driving the RAV4 Hybrid for a week, we definitely give it a big thumbs up. In fact, we give it two thumbs up, which is our highest rating. It's really smooth, it's easy to drive, it's a great crossover, uh, and the size, we really like the size as well. It's not too big, it's just in the sweet spot. Be sure to look for our separate walk-around video of the RAV4 Hybrid on YouTube, and watch for our story coming up soon on Carnichiwa.com. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye now.